there it's on I'm getting reflection so I'm going to shut it flip it open it and yeah and hold it and see all the snow look at this is almost nightly here folks <laughs> I definitely moved they call Barry and that triangle out there Collingwood and that the snow belt <laughs> I think I got you guys beat oh yeah that's through the screen too under the screen I'll come out no. she's stuck in there look at that eh here hold that for a minute would you just hold it right there I'll drop the screen and you get a true picture of <laughs> no, friggin' no. Don't drop the camera out the window! Just <laughs> <The> slide. <laughs> and just slide down the roof. Look at all the snow, folks. The roof. Oh, yeah. I just downloaded the inside of this place on YouTube. You security light? Now we're going to give you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Here's your Merry Christmas. It's happening right now. Oh, yeah. I'm on the angle of the snow coming in. It's coming in from the south south by southwest see how it spins around in here i get snow banks two feet of snow i get five foot snow banks four and a half they're up to my waist or you see that lump over there by the shed yeah you see that's that lump there <laughs> that's that's, that's six not quite six cord probably five and a half face cord of hardwood <laughs> covered in snow it's supposed to be inside yeah. the garage it's still a little, it's it's dry, but it's sad in the wet, right? It got rain and stuff, so it's a little bit tacky. A couple days inside, and it's there's no sizzle or nothing, so. Look at the snow coming off oh, the yeah. garage. See this? And the barn or whatever you want to call that. The, the driveway looks like it's never been done, and he did it for me yesterday, if you've seen the video. Go look. My now neighbors. It's yeah, look at her. Woo, doggy. Anyways, that's... Uh, that's the uh, the weather up up just south of North Bay, Ontario, off of Lake Nipissing. We're just uh, we're a little bit off Lake Nipissing, and we get the winds off of Nipissing because we're up really high. We're 1,200 and oh, what do the maps say? 1,265 above sea level, or 1,285, almost 1,300 feet above sea level. So we're up higher than the most of them, I guess. Definitely not down the swamp. We're not sucking swamp gas in here. I'll tell you that. Don't buy in the swamp. Don't buy in a swampy area. It's not. It's not good for you. Hey, you double. Check. Hey, I can hear myself in the background. <laughs> I'm gonna pan back out. So you get out there, you can really see. Look at your poor little vehicle. <laughs> you can't even tell the vehicle is. It's. It's gonna turn into a snowbank. It's coming from that way. Well, uh, you probably can't see. Now you can't see nothing. There's no light over there. So it's just light. here. You really see it in the light. You can see she's uh, big flakes. I think it's, they said minus six, but I don't think we got there yet. We're probably at minus two or three or something like that Celsius. But uh, yeah, she's a snowing, folks. And at different levels, you can <laughs> see it come off the roof there. That's because we got a brand new steel roof on this place. One of the things I negotiated when buying this, the shingles were gone. I said, you want me to give you that price, then please stick a steel roof on her. And I got my steel roof. Sometimes please is a pretty good word, eh? Or a and nice this, big smile. Yeah, our party smiling at them. And uh, this is steel too. Not quite finished, but it's good. You can see there. That's the peak blowing, down in it's there. Blowing, it's blowing. <laughs> we got four foot, three or four foot drift up on top, and all of a sudden you'll hear boom, and that's why the car's out a little bit, or else you get you're in you are a snowbank. You get you know, you know five, six, a thousand pounds of of uh, snow on top of your car, and that's got a skylight in it, so like not good, eh? Not good. My car's supposed to be in the garage, and it has been all the way along, but. Uh, the wood pile's in the way. He dumped it with the dump truck. And then he took off and left me. <laughs> should have dumped it that way more. Yeah, I should have got him to dump it in front of that door right there. Yeah. But it was already done and, uh, no, I got my wood anyways. 
live and learn. You know, we're just new up here. Not that we're new to off-grid living, and we're not off-grid, obviously, but we did 12 years off-grid just south of Bancroft in a little community called the Mab on 46 acres log house, and then we ended up in a 12 by 15 foot cabin for eight and a half years with no electricity, no lines in, no bell lines, nothing. Straight off grid. And uh, throw two people I know, in the bush and it's true love or they walk away. Or you, you, <laughs> or you end up killing each other, <laughs> one or the other. So uh, yeah, uh, there's a lot of people who claim to live off grid. They're full of shit, man. I've seen people on YouTube that, and I'm not going to, no, don't smack my ass. There's there's people that just bullshit and tell you, oh, I live off grid, and then they go back to their 40 acres on a lake in a, in a gated community, okay, and, they, okay. and they pretend, hey, look, look at my cabin, I live off grid. It's bullshit. Most people couldn't do it. It's not an easy life. It's not that romantic unless you have like a fifty or $60,000 solar system, then... Then you have similar to hydro in your house. Not quite, but at least you have all the amenities working and stuff. So that's the way it is, folks. Don't believe this off-grid thing. Most of you would last a month. I seen people run out of Bancroft like the devil was chasing them after six months in the bush. So you could romanticize all this shit you want, but uh, the real life stories, it's a rough life. It's, it's really busy. You don't sit back. You're working every day, eight, ten day, eight to ten hours a day, just trying to exist and shovel the snow or blow it or whatever you're doing. And it's a rough go. So don't believe it. Don't believe all the shit you see on, on here. I'm just doing a real thing here. If you don't want to watch me, I don't really care. I'm not uh, on here to make money off YouTube. I'm just on here for experience and to log my existence, which I wish we would have done when we lived off grid in Bancroft, because it was, I'll tell you, it was bloody rough. It was no joke. And we almost died twice, and we probably froze almost to death five times. So it's not a joke. Um, research what you do. Go out and try. Rent a cabin off someone or something and off grid and see how it is. Uh, with four feet of snow outside the next day and see if you like it. I doubt you'll like it and you'll be running back to your apartment in the city most people do. Anyways, have a good one. Cordelia and Ken, over, over and out. Peace out. That's for Rick and Jamie of, uh, what is it? Classic Truck Rescue. Two cute, really cool individuals on YouTube. Go check them out, folks. Bye for now. Happy New Year.